Ever since 2020, the years have felt empty. Stuck at home, no contact, no trips, no passions. It just felt like I was existing, not really living. But in 2022, things started getting better. It felt like the world was opening up again, and I had hope. So going into 2023, I made the choice that this year, I was going to live life the way I wanted to. Take more risks, be more bold, make the most memories, and to have an unforgettable year. Unfortunately, it wasn't that easy. I had been stuck in my routine of school and lazing around at home for so long that it felt like 2023 was gonna be the same as every other year. I was comfortable and I was playing it safe. But I knew that if I wanted things to change, I would have to change. So I started putting myself out there. I started going to events, more hangouts, and even threw a big party for my 15th birthday. The first three months of this year, I did do a lot more than I ever have before. Like I went out with my friends and family a lot more. I went on more trips, more adventures. I got new experiences I haven't had before. I went to events and parties and it was it was pretty fun. But I still had school, which was a massive portion of my life, and unsurprisingly, it was horrible. Although it felt like it got even worse this year. More stress, more drama, more problems. There were so many days where I questioned why I was even there. Some days, I just hate being here, and all I want to do is leave. But luckily, I can't say it was all bad. If it weren't for the people and the friends I made there, this school year would have been a whole lot worse. These were the people I saw every day. They were half of my high school life and Somehow, we all became a lot closer than I thought we ever would be. We all hated school, but at least together, we had some good times along the way. I had a lot of good times this year, but it wasn't always great. So for the past few weeks, I've been feeling pretty stressed, not feeling the greatest, uh, losing motivation, no drive to do anything. And uh, I haven't been in the greatest place, I would say. Uh, I wouldn't do much. I would be in bed all day. And the only times I got up were maybe to like eat or shower. And uh, that's pretty much it. Haven't been doing much, been losing track of a lot of things and in my life and uh, it's uh, it's all a bit of a mess right now and I, I don't feel that great either. <clears throat> this year I had a lot of low times. Stress, anger, sadness, frustration, emptiness. 
I've never really felt so many different emotions all at once before, so I didn't always know how to process them and what I was feeling properly. Sometimes there were just days and weeks where I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to stay in bed and forget about the whole world. So for the next few days, I'm gonna be skipping school to go on a trip to Bangkok, Thailand. I'm actually pretty excited for the trip. I haven't been on one in a while. And I don't know, I've been feeling a little lost for the past few weeks. So just to get away from everything and maybe figure some things out, maybe being in a different country will give me a new perspective on things. I don't know, honestly, I'm just excited to be traveling again, so. During one yeah. of my lowest points this year, I went on a trip to Thailand. At this point, I was really tired of everything, and I just wanted a break from it. Being in a completely different country definitely helped me figure things out. I'm glad I got to travel more this year. It always helped it. me see things from a different perspective. It, cool. it always made me feel better about whatever I was going through. There, but I'm going in. whether I was stuck or lost or sad it all just went away when I was traveling I was free I was at peace like I had no care in the world and I was truly happy Twenty twenty three has definitely been a wild year. This year really did teach me a lot. I learned so much and I think I grew a lot too. For better or for worse, I think I've changed, at least a little. I had some really bad times, but I also had some really, really good times. I made so many memories, more than I ever have before, honestly. And for the first time in a long time, I can actually say that I'm happy with how it all turned out. I honestly have no regrets. I did the best I could. Sometimes things didn't go my way, but those were out of my control. I made the most with what I had, and I had some of the best times this year. Some of my happiest memories and some of my boldest moments. <laughs> I'm actually very optimistic about the next year. Now, I don't want to jinx anything yet. The year's barely started, but uh, I have a good feeling that this year is going to be a good one. It's time to say goodbye to the past year. Thank you, 2023, for everything. Oh, yeah.